So we got an hour and 29 minute drive. Got our men in the back. I heard Lance won big last night. Yeah, I heard someone won gambling last night. Nice. So, uh, leaving this place because it's about an hour and a half east. So we're slowly making our trek ish back <laughs> towards the east coast, if that. But beautiful day. Sunny blue skies and uh, hopefully a good night of racing. So, stay tuned. Interesting. Okay, here we are. We have arrived. I'd say we can go for like a, you know, boat ride or something, but the water's looking pretty brown. My guess is saying that might be where they get the water to water the track. Just like a guess. <laughs> Trying to find our parking spot now. Oh boy, a little wet. So I totally forgot to tell you guys this morning. Um, well, remind me is it's a freaking wet mess. Really nice back here, but we had to move the trailer a few times to find a spot. So we're gonna be back here far, far back here because it's wet everywhere. So what I was gonna say is 1.30 this morning, um, tell me this would not freak you out. Those, I don't know, I think it might be all iPhones. You get that alert on your phone and I could hear it throughout the whole hotel. Room next to us, down the hall, all of a sudden just goes ding! And I'm like, I'm up, I'm awake, I'm like, who got kidnapped? What happened? I'm like, is Art in the toter? Is he okay? <laughs> what did Art do? And, um, so, so that freaked me out. Check and see what the alert is. Mike sleeps right through it. Rolls over, turns it off. So I check it out and it is a tornado alert. Tornado because of some severe thunderstorms. And I kid you not, when it was so windy, so loud, so bad, I just laid there freaking out, thinking about Lance and Art and the toter. And they said that the toter was shaking so bad they actually had to pull the slide out in because they were afraid it was just gonna take off. But we made it. Everyone is here and in one piece, a little wet, but we're here. Kind of, kind of excited to check out the rev. It is beautiful. Okay, this track looks sick. So definitely, hopefully, <laughs> we'll be good for the big block. Um, uh, da, 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 da. What was I gonna say? Oh, the town? Like, okay, this place. First track all week. We are yeah. actually in civilization. Literally, you can hear the highway from here, so I dig it. I dig it. It's nice. It's clean. A little wet from the rain. Should be nice and heavy. It's gonna be great. We like to take the dirt from one track and bring it to the next. I'm impressed. Did you do that? No. No. The future hubby did it. Ah, uh, Mike did it. Probably just had to jump on it. Did he? No. Uh, actually, I think it came up pretty easy, didn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Desperate times, guys. Let's see if I can catch any fish, gators, or preferably just some water to wash the race car. I ain't catching any animals, but we'll have a clean race car. Shout out to Keith for making sure Mike gets his Louisiana food. I don't know what's what, but there's crawfish. Yeah, I think that was the boo dang thingamajigger. And I don't really know what. That's good. That is. You're just gonna eat it anyways. I don't need to know what it is. Nope. It's tasty. That's good. Just 
Justin, that's your cue. And then I'll just go and done like this. It'd be great. Beautiful sunset down here at the bayou. As we got these gentlemen still working at it. So we saw a lot of comments asking because we are heading over to driver's meeting and draw. I saw a lot of you guys asking why we draw. Yes, a lot of divisions do um, timed positions. So typically you go out, you time trial. That lines up for heat race. This series does a little different. So what we do is um, based on when you signed in is when you draw. You draw a little, what the hell are those things called? It's not a pill. Poker chips. You draw a poker chip. Got them all face down on a tray. So they're not, not hidden in the bucket or nothing. Can't accidentally Take stick two. two together. <laughs> uh, so it's a little bit, uh, you know, it just takes all the guessing out of it. Yes. Nice and easy and simple. So, based on what we draw number wise, that is what lines us up for our heat race. And then, however, we finish the heat race, then we do a top draw. I mean, it just mixes them up. Every series is different, but that's pretty much sums up how we do it here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of history here at the Rev. 44, man. And in case you're wondering, that was not a good number to draw. So we should be starting feet.
do the top 12 redraw, although we are basically getting what's left. So. Okay, starting P6 before I forget to ask you about your heat. Oh, you're all the way up here. Your heat race. Oh my god, I'm growing this up right now. Tell us about your heat race, dude. Um, well, we were in the third heat, so the the previous heats weren't really running the outside a whole lot. <laughs> so the the bottom was kind of the packed in area, and I we've got a few cars and up in the choppy stuff, and um, we were able to come from last to fourth and make the redraw. That's what we need to do. Is to start sixth now, so uh, that's it. That's all we needed, really. It, um, kind of settled in the fourth. Maybe could have pressured for more, but uh, not really necessary when they redraw four, so we just took that. And, uh, try and guess what what we're going to have here for the feature. I think um, I'm going to want to put my uh, like send it <laughs> set up in. Send it set up. Send I it like up that. on the top side kind of setup. Um, see what we can figure out. I mean, I'd, I'd really like to be able to stand on the gas the whole way around and, and not have the, the right side of the door dig into the track. I think we'll be fast if that's the case. <laughs> So we are going extra, extra thick on the tear-offs, like two brand new sleeves, 10 per sleeve, 10 tear-offs, no, <laughs> 20 tear-offs, because it's going to be heavy out there.
ugly. Steve's walking away right now. He's okay, but wait until you see that replay of that. It, it's like his wheel just ripped right off because there's, I don't see a hole. So 18 laps in. Uh, Stewie was leaving. That sucks big time. That car is probably down. And uh, now we're second. Sitting in at Arclotex. Here's another replay on Dirt Track Digest. We'll watch it again. Sonoka Race Fuel replay on Flow Racing. Yeah, there's that replay, and you can see there the uh, the right rear something and the right rear letting go. And <laughs>
fog. Fog oh, is yeah, rolling that in. That was my oh. If only there were evidence of this little oh smart car. You can't even turn lights on in this joint. I have no idea how to operate this vehicle. You comfortable? Please I think it's some um, one down, down three up or something. Please, please don't no, put your motorcycle. Please, don't, make, where we go? please don't what? Yep. Don't put this in the video because this is embarrassing. Oh my god. So that means we're gonna put it in the video. What if, what if we so, die in here? Will everybody this know where we are? I don't know. If, if, like if they get if they if they find our video, this they might know. Problem. What is your name? That, What's your full that, name? Arthur. Arthur right. Elvin Ballard. Elvin. Elvin. I knew that would do it. Elvin. Like. I always feel, I'm doing a video now, that check in at a random hotel that you just find. You found a hotel, it's great. And we're always like the farthest away. You go down an aisle and there's the next aisle, there's the next aisle, and it's, oh, I'm coming. But we got a room with running water. Yay. Got the Applebee's recap, jam out some music. Give us your recap. <laughs> <laughs> uh so tonight was cool. We went to a, a really nice facility and uh, <laughs> unique race surface for sure. Uh, it used to be an asphalt track, so they put the dirt on it. And uh, when we got there, it was really tacky. And uh, as the night went on, uh, they scraped it and it got wider for the concies, but then it was still tacky. And then the street socks went out before our feature and they polished it top to bottom with their smooth tires and it was like, oh, this is gonna be like almost slick. And we and then we went out there and it dug right back up tacky again. So um kind of surprised me because I was expecting to run the cushion like way up the top, but it was down low and so I was I was wrong on my gear choice. So, uh, you know, happy to finish second. Was, um, wasn't quite twisting the motor enough to get going on the restarts. And even under green, it was a little bit lugging a little bit. So, um, but uh, definitely a good track for the big block. And, uh, you know, good night for us. So with the way things gone this week, um, losing an engine the other day and then, um, Yesterday was kind of slick for the big block, so today was a little more fit for it, and uh, our results showed that. So, uh, really thankful for uh, all the help we've had from uh, Keith Badiali and his family and crew, and um, Mandy, Art, and Lance uh, working really hard. So, two more nights at Chatham Super B Speedway, and Hopefully we can figure that place out. It's been just crazy figure, trying to figure out all these new tracks this week, but, but uh, very interesting, a lot of fun as well. So um, we'll get something to eat tonight because here in Monroe, the, the restaurants are open Actually later. open, thank God. So that's pretty nice. Thank God, because I didn't know we were going to starve again tonight. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was starting to look ugly, but we found had Anthony rolled in, or flew in, I should say, and he had a rental car. He took the guys with them, and we're staying nearby. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you? All right. That was awkward. We got, we got some, uh, got a drink order in. Yay! And we're gonna eat. This is gonna be nice. I know, I can't wait. I, I don't like Applebee's, guys. Full disclosure. I just don't. I feel like Applebee's was like the hip thing when they they came to Flemington. Like when you what just about name chilies it, or chilies. They have te I feel like the, the same. No, <laughs> they have so Tex Mex similar. rolls. They have Tex. I think I don't even know what they're called. Are they called? Mandy them? judges a restaurant based off of their appetizers because yes. that's the only menu she looks at. I order off the appetizer meal. <laughs> I, like very rarely ever do I order an actual meal. So um, hey, I'm just happy that something. That in this town that they're open, open later. Yeah. It, we don't eat a lot. Well, I don't eat a lot um, when I'm racing, and then afterwards I'm always really hungry. But I even missed out on uh, uh, 
the etouffee. When was there etouffee? Keith, Keith brought etouffee to the track today, and like everybody we, ate it up. No, I didn't. I didn't have any. I think there was a leftover one. I, I'll have to find out what it looks like, but I saved you something. You did? Yeah. You saved me some? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I'll that, find out. It looked weird. I was excited to try it. It looked that. weird. Um, it was, uh, I think today was a crawfish etouffee, and tomorrow is gonna be shrimp etouffee, so you'll probably like that I'll try better, the so. Okay, anyways. So, day three is done. Uh, like Mike said, tomorrow we head to Super B. Got two more nights left. So, appreciate you all. Definitely this track was top notch. Like, I know Dayo was saying that the owners were kind of hesitant to race because of all the rain they got. Yeah, they but... definitely got too much rain for for the surface, and and I'm sure they they were not happy about that. But I mean, for what it was, it, it turned out pretty good. Like it was a little bit rough in the heat races, and then they scraped it and scraped it and worked on it. And in the feature, it was, it was good. pretty good. It, it was. I impressed. mean, it definitely, was nice. I expected it to be a lot rougher than it was. Yeah. Um, Especially because it was just so tacky and. Mm -hmm. Um, digging up a lot but um, you know they worked hard at it and it came in pretty nice yeah. so I definitely would like to come back here this this track it was such a mix it's like when whenever we go to different tracks we try to compare like oh it's like this track it's like that track yeah this one uh, I really couldn't compare it to anything no it honestly <laughs> like the the surface reminded me almost of susky because it the the clay cup the clay color and it's heavy yeah but then it also reminded me of like lawrenceburg which is almost a variation a spin-off of bridgeport just not as high banked okay. not as big and it was just unique i liked it yeah it was pretty uh i can't judge them on the top-notch walls and fence you know yeah. that they 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 can obviously host uh the world of outlaw sprint car race here mm -hmm. and only one opening, which is nice. Um, tough for getting the cars on and off because there's only one single file going in and out. But um, someone did ask safer. for us to do a review of our trip on the ride home, so we'll have to save that for them. Okay. And just get ready for a drink. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to oh like you know? the videos, uh, sign up for Patreon, uh, subscribe to the newsletter, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. Yo, you're here. Hi. Just in time. <laughs> Could you guys come on around? Oh.